Cemetery Tales. Um, let's find the blog. How is everybody doing? You guys doing all right? All you people out there in the internet land. <laughs> Money shot. back from, this is called the Cemetery Tales, I just got back from an hour meditating at the cemetery, and this is what I got. We remote control skeletons that will outlast us. See for yourself. And then I link to uh, a, fo a photo of my Twitter account, the screenshot. Uh, I thought it was funnier when I wrote this. Um, I was really tired. And as I was sitting there in the, this is yes from yesterday, and as I was sitting there in the cemetery, a tree started to blur into the shape of a face, a dark face, and I thought, even if you were real, you'd just be a creation of Yahuwah. I actually wrote the word Yah, yod hey wah hey yod hey it's uh, Y-H-W-H, see it there, probably not. Anyway, the Tetragrammaton, Hebrew name for God, Yah, you say hallelujah. Look it up. Type in the name of God on Google. And then type in Yod, sorry, type in YHWH. Or just type in YHWH. It's a long story. And uh, we don't have time for that right now. Pardon me. And here I am. I thought I'd have something better to say than this. I'm at my personal limit with a few things in my life right now. Yes, contrary to popular opinion, I do not divulge everything about my life in my blog or my videos. Whatever you think you know, you don't. And, yeah, I just lost my train of thought. If I wouldn't up in the hospital again, I very well may be angry. I'm listening to the instrumental soundtracks from Batman Begins. I wasn't. I was listening to the sound, soundtrack from, Bat from The Dark Knight, which is an entirely different movie. Good stuff. 
Look at me two sentences up talking all high and tough. Geez, how many times have I quit blogging? How many years did I go without recording any videos? How many offers have I refused? Not enough, apparently. I'm the bad guy, and that's the bottom line. Bought some new shoes. Off topic. I like them. So I'm just doing this up and trying to read this at the same time. I'm at, uh, where was I? I don't know, apparently. I'm the bad guy, and that's the bottom line. In my spare time, I most like to take advantage of women, take them to the back of my tour bus and uh, for back rubs and whatnot, whatever. I could go on about the things I most like to do. I could give names and dates, but I would still only be the bad guy. Like politicians, I am rewriting my history the way I see fit, and right now I have a clean slate. Why? Because I just said so, and I'm more important than you are. I was on MTV. See? That settles that. This is me calming myself down with the Batman soundtracks. It's cool that some people like to pretend how bad they've had it where being a cocaine addict and standing in a welfare line is what defines them as a person and gives them that street cred over the rest of the snobtastic people around them. Oh, what a life it must be. They have it so rough, you know. I'm sure they think they deserve whatever luxuries they have now. What a joke. How do they work those ratios out? One dead family member equals 10 years of bliss. A dead cat equals one new Mustang. Five years of homelessness equals 20 years of a happy marriage. I don't know. I wonder sometimes. Does anyone even know me? Do people that read my brogs even know me? Does my family even know me? Do my friends even know me? I'm one of the most antisocial people I know. Sometimes the most social thing I do is this. Other times I have gone a month without even showering because I knew I wouldn't be seeing anyone, and that was this year. I can hide for long periods of time, I can survive with little to no food, I have no bad habits or drug prescriptions that keep me chained to the system, I am able to exist without any wires attached for as long as the human body is able to, and then some. This is water. I'm drinking water. Really good water. From a company called H2 Only. But then again, I can also be very social. I can be the life of the party, the guy up front, the leader, the drummer, the front man, the whatever I need to be. I have that in me, and I also don't attach to any one particular version of myself. I drive many different vehicles, have many different interests, run various and unrelated business. I am completely unconcerned with the world outside of my own, pretty much half the time. The other half, I catch up on news and world events and what a lie, realize what a lie we are all living in. And all of that said and admitted, I still don't have any children, any wife, or any significant other to share it with. I have been divorced and engaged again, and through the ringer enough times to know what's what when it comes to this culture and the women in it. I have my faith and my daily prayer and devotions, my firm and unshakable stability and my trust in Yahuwah, and the grace he has given me to get this far. Every good thing I have has certainly been given to me by him. If you stop to consider for a moment, everything you have is a gift. It starts from birth. You're gifted with this body, with this mind, these parents, your, your name, your food, and the teeth that you chew it with. Someone took care of you for as long as it took to get you weaned and walking, and here you are, reading my brog. I am humbled and thankful. You know what you get for being different? A kick in the teeth. Thanks for coming out. Now go somewhere and die quietly. That's what this world system has to offer you if you choose to stray from the common path, like we're all a bunch of animals or something. Speaking of animals, this city life is killing us. Do you see any cows anywhere? Where are the farms? Where are the crops? Where are the animals that you eat every day? Where is all this vegetation that is feeding the city that you live in? Sitting on top of a grave and pondering life, I realized I am literally a few feet away from dead people's bones. Then another thought occurred to me. I am literally carrying around in my body a skeleton. A skeleton that will actually outlast the very me I am referring to. I'm going to stop writing for a while now. Take care, everyone. And I will admit freely in this video that I was extremely tired and angry. And those two combinations aren't good for me. I thought this morning, I thought, you know what, I could uh, delete that. I could delete it because I was angry and just talking some crap, but I thought, no, I'm going to leave it because it was real and honest and uh, sometimes honesty isn't always pretty. And that's how I really feel. So uh, maybe I'm not going to blog anymore, I don't know, I've, you know, I'm just, I'm going to take a break for a little while with everything, because uh, some things are getting a little too out of hand for me. So, that was my brog. Thanks for coming out.
Thanks for watching. A job. The Adam Josh Oral Brog. Number nine, I believe. From AdamJosh.com. AdamJosh.com. Peace out.